Today is a dream. It means everything to be with him and, and celebrate this and I feel like I'm I'm like pinching myself like this is my life and this is what I'm stepping into and this is all my friends and family get to share that so Amber and I met in January 2017 in Costa Rica and I can honestly say I was completely blindsided by her I, I had no idea who she was coming into the retreat and man just life beautifully slapped me across the face with being struck by Amber. Friends and family, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate this sacred union between two amazing individuals. JP and Amber, know this, I really love you guys. Uh, we love you. Can I get an amen? Yeah. So we've had people come from all over the United States and Canada to be here, and it means so much to all of us. We had the most glorious day you could have ever had with weather. It's been quite a day. Uh, I don't know that I could have uh, really understood all the emotions of walking your daughter down the aisle at a time when uh, you think you have your emotions in check, but you really don't. I've had my coworkers texting me all day long about, you got this, you got this. I finally sent her back a note saying, yeah, I don't got this. Yeah, he just, he means everything to me. He's, I, I don't want to say he's my other half because I think we're whole already. <laughs> but he's, he's absolutely my life partner, like absolutely the one. And so fighting him was such a dream. Because I didn't think it was, I didn't think it existed. And um, he proved me wrong, and I, yeah, just forever grateful for him. I, I there are no words. He he just unconditionally loves me. Um, and there's, and there's no greater gift I think can give someone. I knew Amber was the one before our first date. So we met at the retreat in January 2017, and then it was March that I was on a back on a plane flying down to Costa Rica for the first date with Amber. And I'll never forget, on the plane ride, I was journaling in this purple journal uh, that I had, and I was, I was crying. And what I was writing is, it feels like I'm going down to be with my future wife. And I, my mind didn't believe that was true. Like, wow, we, we hadn't needed, even held hands yet. Yet my heart just felt the truth, and my emotions weren't lying. And then after the, the first week and a half we had together, March of 2017, when I was going back to the U.S., she stayed in Costa Rica, I just thought to myself, how long do I have to wait to ask her to marry me without appearing crazy? Um, nine months was the answer. I waited about nine months. As we gather under these epic redwoods, these are fully autonomous, magnificent, magnificent trees that are held up by an interconnected root system and that's the definition of interdependence interdependence is how spiritual partners come together in a sacred union fully autonomous but deeply connected at the roots jp and amber i charge you to be like the the mighty redwood fully autonomous yet deeply connected Hey JP, um, this uh, ceremony today means everything to me and I'm so grateful to get to marry you and to get to share our lives together. I'm so grateful that you chose me and I'm so grateful that we get to grow and evolve and rise together. From the time we met, I found feelings inside of me that I didn't know existed. When we first met on that magical day in Costa Rica, my soul recognized yours on the deepest level. And I promise to do my best to show up as fully as I can with you, for you, and for me. I want to be transparent with you. 
want to be vulnerable with you. I don't just want to show you the parts of me that I feel confident with. I want to show you all of me. I promise to laugh at your jokes, not all the time, but, but most, of, most of the time. Most importantly, I vow to consciously choose you. Every moment, hour, and, and day without fail. To choose you, us, and everything we are becoming. And I want to be a student of you. I think who you really are is far beyond who I think you are. Each day I want to let go of who I think you are and keep embracing more and learning more about who you really are. Amber's my favorite subject. Y'all ready to do this thing? I think so. Yeah. Audience, y'all ready to do this thing? Okay. Looks like we're going to have some fun. I now pronounce you husband and wife.